Today, we're gonna to cut open three of the best engine oil filters out there to find out which one's best. And you're not gonna believe which filter is an identical clone to the SuperTech filter. Now, we'll start off by taking these filters out of the box so we can see just how they look before we cut them open. The Wix filter, the Bosch filter, the AC Delco Professional filter. I mean, look at this one. It has glue on the outside of the filter. This could contaminate your oil for the Bosch. Really surprised to see that right from the start. Well, we'll see how good the quality is once we get this filter cut open. The cost of each filter, Wix $8.99, Bosch $9.99, and the AC Delco $7.99. These are the Wix specifications, the Bosch specifications, now the AC Delco specifications. The warranty for each filter, Wix, one year, Bosch, one year, AC Delco, two years. The recommended oil filter change intervals are 10,000 miles for the Wix, 5,000 miles for the Bosch, and 5,000 miles for the AC Delco. Now let's take a look at the Micron end efficiency ratings while we finish up cutting these engine oil filters. 99% efficiency for the Wix filter, 23 microns for the Wix filter. Now the Bosch filter, 99% efficiency at 20 microns. Last, the AC Delco, 20 microns at 98%. As you can see on the left, the AC Delco blue base plate actually had more oil passages, but the holes were smaller. Now the Wix and the Bosch, they looked almost identical. And the Bosch and the Wix anti-drain back valves are both made of silicone. Much better for extreme temperatures. However, the AC Delco anti-drain back valve is made of nitrile rubber, a much lower quality and cannot handle the same extreme temperatures as the others. The anti-drain back valve holds oil in the filter, so even after you turn the vehicle off and you start the car up the next time, you still have oil in the filter and no dry startup. A coil spring is much better to use than the stamped steel. The coil spring ensures constant load on inner element to maintain the seal between the upper element end cap, also the inner element support and the mounting plate, even during pressure surges. This AC Delco stamp steel also contains the bypass valve, which allows the engine oil to flow in extreme cold temperatures, or if the engine oil filter becomes clogged, you will still have some flow of engine oil, although your engine will not be protected at this point. You can see the glue within the filter element on this one. Really. Uh, pretty good construction, but let's go ahead and check out the others. The Bosch has a lot of glue all over the filter. Now, for this AC Delco, really it looks clean. The inside appears to be made of a uh, nylon material. We'll go into detail in just a moment, but now we have the Wix filter. Fairly clean construction, you can see the oil bypass is made on the bottom on the inside just the same as the Bosch filter. These are very similar. Also you can see this steel plate in between the filter media allowing for a much stronger construction. Now the AC Delco core is made of nylon. For high strength and great flow, nylon core is one and a half times stronger than filters with a metal core. Synthetic end caps are ultrasonically welted to help prevent media blocked by adhesive in most oil filters. Guys, I really do like how clean this filter is made. The filter media for all three filters made of cellulose. Guys, check out this AC Delco clone, SuperTech. Both are made by Champion Laboratories. As you can see, both of the housings are made exactly the same. Now for the oil base plates. As you can see, these have the same amount of oil passages as well. Now for the natural anti-drain back valves. The exact same size, materials. Let's go ahead, look at the center cores, both made of nylon materials. Both the SuperTech and AC Delco filters are using steel end caps. Check these out. In just one moment, we'll show you how wide and how long the oil filter medias are, plus showing you the housing thickness. Take a look at these bypass valves for the AC Delco and SuperTech. Both nylon, both stamped steel, both identical. Let's look at the oil filter media. I have something really interesting to show you on this one. 
I mean, look, it even has the same marking on the filter media. Some strange mark on the side of it. I'm not really sure what this comes from, but it's pretty strange. And I don't see glue being a problem with these filters. So they're made very clean and look to have no quality control issues as I've seen in the past with other filters and rust. Now we have the Bosch and Wicks bypass valves, both made in steel end caps. Check it out, this is how they work. Guys, I've always been told Wicks is the best, but how will they stack up against the competition? Let's start off by checking out the oil filter housing thickness with our micrometer, 0.92 millimeters. Let's go ahead and move on to the SuperTech filter housing. I'm ready to see if it's the same as the AC Delco filter housing. 0.54 millimeters for the SuperTech. Now the AC Delco, the moment of truth. 0.56 millimeters, and now the Bosch. one point zero three millimeters now for the filter media thickness then we'll move on to the length of each filter media wix 0 0.51 millimeters supertech filter media next 0 0.65 and now the ac delco 0.67 for the AC Delco. Now for the Bosch. 0.48 millimeters on the Bosch. Let's go ahead and move on to the length of each filter media. Guys, you're not gonna believe the difference. Which filter media did you think would last the longest? Absolutely incredible. The Bosch filter is five feet and two inches long. Let's go ahead and check out the width of the Bosch filter one inches in width we'll move on to the ac delco width one and a half inches in width quite a bit of difference now the wix filter one and a half inches in width as well so although it may be longer it is not wider the ac delco and wix are both four feet two inches long for more information check out the link in the description below thanks for watching nate's interactive auto